shit. The renegade. <laughs> Gather round for I shall tell you a tale. 1994, Atlanta, Georgia. Hogan and Jimmy Hart convinced WCW that the future of mid-90s WCW was 1980s WWF and had signed many old stars, but wanted the big one, the ultimate warrior. Bring, bring! Speak to me, warrior! <laughs> Helwig wanted $2.5 million, and WCW said, absolutely not. But Warrior's real-life chauffeur was a carny indie promoter and suggested using a look-alike stripper-turned-wrestler by the name of Richard Wilson. A stripper Yes. Hilarious. WCW said, I love it, <laughs> and offered Wilson a deal to be Warrior 2.0. Billing him as the ultimate surprise, WCW intentionally misled viewers, <laughs> obscuring Wilson's face with steam and doing the gorilla press mannerisms. Oh my god. A real warrior's return was promoted for Uncensored 95. Named the Renegade Warrior, Wilson ripped off the Ultimate Warrior's entrance music, ring get-up, and aped Hellwig's mannerisms, including the dancing hook-up and squashing wrestlers in one to two minutes. He was rocket to the moon along with Max, having a six-month winning streak, primed to be one of the biggest stars in the industry. By who? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Hart. <laughs> Where was Vince in all of this? WWF, who'd unsuccessfully threatened legal action to halt this abomination, managed to get Warrior off his name, so he was just the renegade. Really? Yeah. It's worth noting that WCW knew they get found out immediately, so they just did it for that one buy rate, the first one, and fuck it, <laughs> the rest of it. Did it work? It did. Oh, <laughs> that's wow. cheap. That, like, can you imagine? Okay, well now I can kind of see why Vince was pissed. Mm. But WWF didn't need to interfere for this to tank. The real Ultimate Warrior did a wrestling magazine interview dispelling any confusion. He was not in WCW. Fans didn't appreciate the forgery, and combined with being an awful wrestler, it turned sour a couple of months in. He couldn't steamroll stars forever, and he had to have longer matches. Even stunning Steve Austin couldn't do anything with him. At the Great American Bash, Renegade won the TV title from Arn Anderson in a stinker. Really? If Arn can't do magic with you, you are a lost hope. There's nothing for you. And by this point, Fall Brawl, he has held it for three months. The fans booing the fake warrior. And that brings us to tonight. Nice. What's, what's his real name? Richard Wilson. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. Getting into the ring, Max Muscle catches his foot, giving DDP the chance to hit the diamond cutter. It was awesome. One, two, three. DDP gets the win and the TV title, and the renegade experiment is officially over. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Renegade's prospects immediately fell after dropping the TV title. He was sparsely used and spent the time trying to improve his poor wrestling skills. November 6th Nitro, after losing to the Taskmaster, Jimmy Hart, now with the Dungeon of Doom, kicked him to the curb by splashing him with water in his face, rubbing off his ore face paint while shouting, You could have been the next Hulk Hogan. You're not the Renegade, you're just plain old Rick. Who turned his back? Oh God, that is a burial. That man is not going to any other company after that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. And why would he say you could have been the next Hulk Hogan? Like, his gimmick was to be the next warrior. I know, but like, as big as Hulk Hogan, I think. Mm. That's what he tells, like, Tugboat and <laughs> Ed Leslie. <laughs> That's how he suckers them in. Yeah. <laughs> Tuggers. <laughs> The gimmick came full circle in 1998 when the real Ultimate Warrior joined WCW. Renegade was used as a stunt double for Warrior's magic tricks when he needed to appear in two different places at the same time. Mirrors! <laughs> Warrior hated WCW and Renegade for stealing his gimmick, but thanks WCW for the money and thanks Renegade for the theatrics. Afterwards, Warrior went right back to hating him. It would have been awesome if they were promoting 
in 98 it was the renegade returning <laughs> and then it turned out to be the ultimate warrior <laughs> a warrior gonna have like an oar in his face <laughs> oh steve i love it 2.5 million well spent <laughs> A sad end as a sad. Mm, I lower it down a bit there. Mm. A sad end as in ninety nine, Renegade failed a steroid test, got off the gas, lost his physique, and was fired. He was distraught about his failure in WCW, and three weeks later, during an argument with his stripper girlfriend, killed himself. By all accounts, Wilson was a nice, quiet, reserved guy. He didn't have any friends in the wrestling business. Um, before signing, he was worried that people would see through the deception, but couldn't turn down such a massive break. <laughs> He's worried that they'd see through it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Ye have lots of faith. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll live on as one of WCW's most infamously carny manoeuvres. Honestly, got off the gas. He wasn't jacked nah. or ripped. Nah. He's hardly, like, warrior. Yeah, it's like Batman and Robin, you know, when Bane... He turns off the, the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I'm imagining. Like. This is a George Clooney Batman reference. <laughs>